Hey, Wayne the Word Tunes guy here. If you can write, you can draw. And happy Thanksgiving. So, uh, the word turkey into a cartoon turkey. Big shout out to Ava Plays for suggesting the word. Here we go. Let's have a look. See how it turned out. Oh. Okay, if you have written the word, and we're going to go ahead and start on it. And if you keep watching, you'll see how, well, it took me four hours to sit there and come up with a design for this. So, there we go, just connect that line. Alright, and across. And down, I'm going to stop there. Okay, I don't know if you can guess what that part is yet, but a little bit difficult. Okay, so now here, this is the important part, get this little curve nice there. All right, now around here, I'm gonna move over to this part on the K. Just curve like that, there is it. Now we come back to the top of the K, and I'm gonna bring that down, connect up there. And then again, another one, just touching the R. And then down the bottom of the K. So you need to take your time on this one. It's, it's just takes a little bit of extra detail to get it to look right. That's where if you're right here on the T, about same height as the T, we're gonna make a line up, curve it around. Now this is, I'm sure you can guess that's the, the tail feathers. Now, we don't want to make them round and we don't want to make them square. So just kind of rounded corners. A little bit squares and then down and that's kind of like a figure eight. You get two feathers in one line there. Okay, now we're going to put the other feathers in. Now oh, I can fit in, fit in just higher there. And fit in two. And then over the other side, however many you may end up to just fill it in and keep that fan shape. There we go. All right, you've probably drawn that. Now, coming here to the U, down one, two, and three. Connect it up to the down stroke of the U like that. Maybe you can start to see the, the turkey there. All right, now looking directly under the U, curve it up, down, and then connecting up to the bottom of the R there. So I, I, I try to design them so that each step, it's difficult to make a mistake if you follow the same steps. So here, down from the T, curve it in to that that part there now in between the bottom of the U and that curve just a small curve like that okay and around there we go okay now I'm going to show you how to do the legs close up because I had a bit of trouble getting these to look right so I'll practice so this is what you do you get your straight bits a little hook at the back and then curve about back to there and then straight in line look at that line and then just a little straight part poking out and then curve it over the top and down like that all right now let's do it on on the turkey and do the straight parts of the legs so I can sort of see that I'm getting the legs kind of an even size and sort of shape and now the little back hook Forward, about twice as long as the back hook at least curve it over straight and then hook it back in there and that's how we get the feet looking right I my feet were looking really bad and, until I stopped and worked this out down there we go back in straight and then hook it over the top there we go and let's put the lines on one two three okay and one two three and then again one two and over there three 
and one, two, three. One, two, and they're not quite in the line. Here we go, one, two, three, and one, two, three, one, two, three. I find if I keep things to three like that, it always turns out, it looks neater and it's just a better way to do it. Now this line here is going to connect up the top of the R from that feather, over, nice curve, and down onto it. So there we go, we got this like squashed, fat, sort of turkey body. Now we're going to do the head. Let's do a bit more of the head. Now here, down and curve it up to there. Just a little bit in there. All right, now, this part's, take your time on this part, curve it down and then around and then it goes thinner at the top and connects straight back up there. That's that, I don't know what it is, that turkey dangling thing. All right, now his neck from down there and it's gonna to touch just above the tip of that feather, neck feather. Go down and connect it. Stop there. All right, now, here, curve down and connect that bottom of the Y and then back up and try and curve it straight back up a little bit just so he's kind of got a smile. And then see the bottom of the neck, it's going to connect up, curve there, like that. There we go. And two little the beak nostrils. And right over here. Now this curve of the R, I want to fill this in. Just, and I'm going to shade it in and it's like a bit of a shadow. So to make it not look out of place, I'm going to put one there as well. Just a small detail to make all the letters disappear properly. Yeah, another little bit there. Okay, now back to here. Now, back, down, and then across there. And here we go, and a little square in the middle, and that's the buckle on his pilgrim hat. If you Google turkey, uh, Thanksgiving and turkey, ever, you always get the turkeys with a pilgrim hat. So up and square, and then down, get that sort of nice, wide at the bottom, narrow at the top, square shape, and then the, the, the band on the hat. Okay, and I'm gonna color these feathers in. I just feel like it'll work better if they're colored in there. So, quick, there we go. And, and actually, here you can add another few little feathers just to show that the feathers go around his neck. Okay, and, and I feel like one more feather in there, just feel like it's missing. So however yours is, you can add a few more in or not. And then let's add some color on the tips of the, tips of these feathers here. Curve them over, color it in. So you, know, you should take your time. So if you keep watching, you'll see uh, my practice ink my pen practice versions as well as how I develop the ideas to make the design for the turkey, you know, in pencil and that. All right, there we go. And let's give you a bit more design, the curve around the tail feathers there. All right. Now, and then I always like to leave it last. His eyes, he's looking back, looking back and he's smiling. I think because he thinks he's, he's got away, he's done the bolt and he's not going to be anybody's dinner at this Thanksgiving. And let's see some speed lines, you see how I, I flick, flick it to give the lines that speed look and it's a few little clouds of dust, specks of dirt that's kicked up, a few more there. And then, okay, I'm going to try and put a shadow underneath there. I, I like flicking the pen like that, gives that shadowy look. And the other side thing, I should have done that before, there we go, this face gangle thing, whatever it is. And I'm just going to colour that hat in because it seems to look better when it's black. I'm going to leave a little bit of a highlights just so you can see more of the shape and the buckle. I'll fill those in there. Okay, and then now I'm going to just quickly colour that in. Alright. And that's 
pretty much, there we go, pretty much the word turkey into a cartoon turkey. That's for Thanksgiving. And, but actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to colour it in. So, on a speed version, let's go colour it in quite fast. There we go. Giving it some colour for a bit of, just a bit of extra look. I very rarely colour them in, but this time I just, I just felt like giving it some colour. Alright, there we go. A little bit more. It's actually looking pretty cool. There we go. And I'm going to add a few extra bits there. Okay, just about, there it is, and well, what about this part, okay, get that done, alright, and this part here, mm, there we go, these were just cheap little pencils I saw at 7-Eleven, and I thought, oh, that'll be a bit of fun to colour it in. And I'm just going to put a little bit of background. Okay, like I said, this took me about four hours to come up. So, and I numbered my pages. So, there's the very first versions. Okay, page two. There's kind of starting to get there already. Not quite. Lots of different weird bits happening. Page three. He's still look and I tried this other direction just for something to do. It looks pretty stupid. I, I didn't go any further with that one. Oh, well I tried to tried a bit, tried to get a bit, and I even may try to make that beak work. But here we go. He's starting to work here on um, what's that page? Uh, that's page five. So page six, getting there. Page seven. I uh, page seven. I think he's totally starting to take form. There we go. The hat's not quite working, but here we've got him. We've got him. He's working. Oh, the hat's still not very good. But he's starting to get shaped now. I'm just trying to get his different shapes right. The hat's still weird. I don't quite like the hat. See there, it's not working. And now the feet. So this is where I noticed I really didn't like the feet. So I worked on it and got a better looking foot there. Okay, now I'm just practicing. And I'm kind of happy because I'm drawing speed lines, but still don't like the hat. And see, so he's looking pretty good. Okay, now, here I feel like I'm almost finished, but his head's looking a little bit funny. I tried to make it better, but I'm, there we go. I'm kind of happy with that, so I coloured it all in. But then I practised it in ink. And first one was terrible, and then I, I just feel like oh, I'm not quite liking the head. I'm not quite liking the head. There, I tried drawing it better. No. So then I... Two eyes, there we go, two eyes, and that looked much better. And there we go, practice is not quite right, but there we go, and there's a like a happy, good practice one, and that's the finished one. You just saw me draw that one and colour it in. Thanks for watching, hope you like it. Subscribe, like, and oh, a big shout out to Katie Lee in the comments. All right. See you on the next video and remember, eat more fruit.